Hello, my name is Kark82, and welcome back to our mine journey to playthrough. I am just crafting up some red sand with the whatever that's called, plastic, plastic deposition or whatever. Uh, so yeah, I just crafted up a bunch of red sand because I wanted to see if I can get this automated. So basically, what we're gonna do is throw this hourglass on top and then throw some sand in it and if you don't know regular sand does one second red sand does 10 seconds per per item and then soul sand does one minute per item and i think from my math that if we want nine of these we're gonna have to drop a thing every 90 seconds is that right yeah so i guess nine so every minute and a half we will drop one because they burn for about 13 13 in a bit seconds uh it's the thermal or the endo flames burn for half the time it gets three mana every two ticks or something like that and it burns for half. So this block of coal will burn for 16,000 ticks. And then obviously times nine divided by 20. And I sort of came up with 90 seconds, I think. I don't know. We'll see. So basically, we will want that set to pulse. I'm like totally doubting my math. But I think I got it. I don't know. It sounds about right. I know these last for quite a while. So put that in there. And then I guess nine. So that'll be every 90 seconds. Yeah. I'll just leave it and then it'll slowly... Uh, it'll slowly go down and then start feeding these with cold coke. And then I'm going to conduit. Let me borrow that. I kind of want some in here. I was going to do, it doesn't need to be a stack, but I did kind of want a bunch. Sure, why not? I don't think it's going to pull out stuff, but that is an, that is a, I do input stuff from our, from our vacuum hopper, vacuum chest. So I'm actually going to throw a filter on there just so it doesn't, like if we craft up mana steel, I don't want it to like go in here and then it gets pulled out. Eventually this will be fully stocked with nine stacks of coal coke. But it's going to take a little while for that to go. So I'm just going to throw a thing on here. Um, blacklist, cold coke. Wait, whitelist, cold coke. Uh, this one. There's so many different variants with chisel. So that will fill up and slowly start doing that. I'm not going to drop anything. We'll just slowly let that uh, do its thing. Okay. Also, I have crafted up a couple miners here. And I think this very thrown together super quick, it seems to be working. Um, so what I've basically done is put the things for the runes in here, the patterns in there. Puts the items in there, and it seems to work with activate block with item and right click. Um, also, I do have the the living rock. I have put the living rock in the the last item in the thing, so I can actually. Um, we 
look at this. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. So I put the items that we need and then the living rock last. So it puts the four that it, it needs. It starts the thing and then the living rock just ends up sitting on top of the, the thing. I also have a, a thing with the, oh look, it's starting to feed the end of flames. Uh, I also have a thing with a wand of forest to right click on that. So right click, use item on block. Uh, and then I even threw a redstone on. So when this isn't running, it's not clicking on that. I mean, I don't know if that's going to cause issues, but I'm like, I don't like having stuff clicking and doing stuff when it doesn't need to. Oops. Uh, so I thought, you know what, let's just throw a comparator down. So when this starts crafting up something, it turns on, it sends out a signal, and then that turns on the thing to do that. So it does seem to have worked with the... The four that I've done. Um, so there are those. I can even try like another one. These aren't super complicated recipes. These are all just tier one stuff. You can see it just dropped down. I think that's mana steel that it does. Yeah, it needs mana steel. There it goes again. Man, I need to do, I need to upgrade that. I still haven't done that. I keep saying I'm going to do that, and I don't. I need to speed it up. So I will. That, that might have wasted a little bit, just because it's not a vanilla one. All right, so there we go. It is forming up the thing. Now, it does appear that these runes take a lot more mana than normal. I don't know if that's an actual thing, but it feels like they require more mana than other mod packs, which wouldn't be surprising. Uh, but uh, yeah, there we go. That thing clicks on it, and then our thing picks it up. Now, uh, not entirely sure if that will work correctly with the runes, that are like these are tier one runes, so those are pretty easy. Um, what happens if we do it with like a tier two? I think since it's not dropping the items, it's placing them in. That I don't think this will be an issue, but you know, if we were dropping the items, the rune of fire and rune of water, it would. The vacuum chest would pick them up before it ended up on the thing. So I think if we have it placed in there with the user, I think that'll be okay. Um, just like, should we put that? Is that at the next year? We do have all that stuff. I'm not sure what it is locked behind. Your four reagents. It doesn't. They don't look like they. Oh, it might be just a whole bunch. It doesn't necessarily mean those are the, the ones. Uh, oh, here is one as well. Rune of mana. All right. Now this does require a bunch of mana. Or, yeah. Does the the blocks require a bunch of mana? Alright, so two of those and then the living rock. Back of that. Alright. So it seems to be seems to be working. We'll check. We should this one should run out by the time this one's getting a thing, so we'll just take some time to do that. Uh, okay, so these hyper diamond things. They're really. All right, I guess we could do kind of something similar, actually. To this. 
we'll have did I did I start that oh I don't I don't have enough diamonds that's right um all right we don't necessarily need this way over here I can move it a little bit closer Just thinking. We need this stuff here. This is for... Oh, this was for those saplings, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't think we actually need this stuff here anymore. Apparently blocks of steel take... Steel leaf take a long time to break. I didn't realize that. Alright. I'm just making a little bit more room. This stuff has all just kind of been thrown here. All willy nilly. Yeah, I'm just randomly like <laughs> those two leaves kind of annoyed me. They were like out of the thing. Um, okay, so I'm thinking maybe Oh, this was uh that's right. I was like, what is this for? I don't remember what this is for. This is for my terra moss. That is actually much easier now because we can make moss stone with essences uh, if we want. And uh, then we just use a knife on it to get the terra moss. So we don't have to do a fancy setup for that. Um, okay, let me, let me think. So we're going to drop the thing. We need a dropper or something. Yeah, probably a dropper. And then we put the dropper here. I'm just thinking. I don't want it to. We'll do a user. Needs to craft up another one. These aren't the cheapest of things to craft up, but we can auto craft them. Um, we'll do, I think we'll do a pressure plate and then we'll have it just hit the, the thing. Actually, we'll do, I don't even think we need to put, do it there. Pressure plate user. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Pressure. No, oh, I don't have a I don't have a crafting table on that. Like I don't have stone. If there's no stone in my Oh, that's right. I smelt it. Uh, spruce. There we go. Yeah, I'm thinking if we do that, and then the user. Ooh, I don't have. I've gone through all that rainbow stone. Holy cow! Yeah, apparently we have. All right. I also have. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned I crafted up two more solar panels. I don't know if I mentioned that. I should throw another stack in there and do it. But, uh, okay. So, can up the user. Over here. So, redstone on. Right click. I think it's a generic click, right? Actually, let's use item, apparently. And that totally made me jump, by the way. Um, okay, uh, so it's use item. That, that seems to be the one that works. No. Does it activate block with item? Is that what it is? Yeah, all right, so activate, 
Activate block with item is what seems to be the thing. Uh, okay, and then we need the industrial grade graphite, right? So. All right, yeah, that works, I think. And then we just need the need a thing to um, vacuum chest it up. All right, cool. Well, there we go. There is our, oh, I even have one here too. There's our hyper diamonds that are kind of annoying to make, but we can do that. Um, no, it'll be I actually don't know. Yeah, I think the interface will go right here. So I'll just throw this all about like right there. And I also need a filter on that, otherwise it'll pick up the graphite. Okay, so that is a little bit more complicated, but not not too bad. But if we're going to need absolute tons of this magnet or uh, diamond, what am I trying to say? Manda diamonds? Yeah, we're going to have to do a recipe for this. So that to that. That to that. Put that in there. All right, cool. So, oops, I forgot to. Oh well, I can do it from inventory. Okay, cool. So that is that automated. I think I have another, I think we have like one more channel over here, but we are getting, we're getting pretty full over here, to be honest. I'm missing the, what is it? The wireless. I think that is the last one we could put on there. I could be wrong though, to be honest. Um, I could always, switch this let's do that actually do connect to that i guess i could do it that way all right yeah because that had much more that in that makes that easier for us okay so let's try let's try mana diamonds let's actually try the block let's try you know what let's do that We'll craft it all up. Oh, I thought I needed more. I might have actually, <laughs> from testing it, we actually didn't need to. All right, let's make another block of diamond. All right, that might take a minute because it has to craft up the industrial... Uh, graphite. I just want to make sure it actually is working. All right, as that is working, let's see what we want to do. I guess bound tools, it looks like it wants us to craft up, and that will let us get the next tier of altar. Oh, there it goes. Did that work? Oh, I forgot to I forgot to output back into the A system. See, that's why I wanted to test it. All right, there we go. Okay, so it works. We got hyper diamonds automated. Okay, let me craft up. I guess it's going to want 
We got the mana one. Let's hold that in our inventory. The not working. I forgot to add it to here. I should just add them all, but we'll do that. I like to add them as I craft them up to make sure it works. All right, so we got our mana. We got that. Now, one of the things it says you can do thermal lilies if you want. I may just leave this. And we'll see. All right, so all nine of them are producing now. Uh, we'll see. If it starts piling up coal blocks in the... In the center, we'll know something is not working. Also, I want a crafting card in here to keep these stocked. Got to do that. Yeah, let me uh, craft up mana tools. Pickaxe, shovel, mana steel axe, mana steel sword um, for the bound stuff. And then we'll get the weak blood. We'll get the weak blood shards, which will let us craft up the bloodstone thing. I Do I have power core? Yes, I have done power cores. I don't know what that is. All right. I don't, to be honest, I don't have these automated very... I just basically just go get stuff from... I um I just did this manually from the thing, so that is something to we're gonna have to yeah maybe automate that. Although I don't know how many we're actually gonna need. Okay, this wasn't uh, too annoying. I did have to craft up the sentient versions, but that. Uh, like I said, it wasn't too horrible. I did just craft up another sentient sword. I didn't want to use the one we already had. But, uh, all right, there we go. Are those? Take all these. That one's the most annoying. Although we have uh, gotten up to 800 platinum, so... Doing well, although I am not processing this anymore. I think the issue we were having with the the sand and the gravel, which I still haven't figured out what recipe was causing that. I think it was I think it was something to do with the auto input. So I have actually turned that off. Which I can always turn it back on when uh we decide to start doing that again. Alright, so I guess we'll do this. Arcane Ashes, we do have that, right? Yeah. And it wants a bound blade. We'll make a recipe for it. I don't know how many times we're gonna be using a binding reagent. There might be other there might be other things. Demon will output hatch. Is this for a... <laughs> is there a... Um, oh, look at that. Uh, is there a multi-block that produces demon will? There are a bunch of multi-blocks. I haven't really looked into them, though. Yeah, might as well. We'll just make a recipe for it. Also, I didn't even look at how much it needs. 64. All right. Should be good. Yeah, 772. Alright, so I think we do need, we might need more than one. You really want me to do all three? Uh, you only need one for progression. You really want me to craft up? I mean, it's it's not that complicated. I'm just trying to see where. All right, it looks like that quest may not be. Yeah, it may not be required. 
So we'll just do that one for now. Also, I'm not going to worry about setting the filter to pull that out. All right. Um, I just did this, and I've already forgotten. It's this, and then then the binding agent, right? Yeah. All right. So there is the bound blade. And then we'll use that to get us some, I think Ascendium's a bit more annoying. Not that they're difficult at all. We'll use this to get the four, oh, five bloods. I does want five? Isn't it usually four? Oh, okay, yeah, so four for the altar and then four for the blood orb. All right, cool. I'm um, gonna need to get this abyssal stuff. Now, don't. Oh, what, do I want? what is that called? Hybrid something or other. We have. I'm so worried about doing the dreaded stuff. Because, uh,. I just don't know if it's gonna get that dread plague or whatever in my base. It makes me it makes me nervous. Throw that right there. Okay, so we need what do we need of those? I already forgot the name of it. What was the name of that? I already forgot. Hybrid. So I need five of those, so we need 20. Yeah. So I'm going to have to figure out how we want to do that. Is that another... Is that going to be another spawner? I mean, I kind of set this all up so I can add more and more spawners. So I don't mind actually doing that. Yeah, I'm just really worried about the Dreadmium. This one. Just don't want that that thing to spread. It makes me nervous. Oop, now see now I have Dread Plague. I got too close. I'm just gonna stand here. I don't wanna like run around and spread it. And they have Dread Plague too. And now it's on the ground. Mm, makes me nervous. Alright, we are back. I've gone ahead and enchanted the bomb blade with looting and sharpness, since enchanting is pretty easy. I am in this dimension because it seems to be the easiest place to find mobs. Um, I did, I was attacking blizzes and stuff in my mob farm and I wasn't getting any weak blood shards so that is why I decided to enchant the sword. Alright, there we go. We got three. Unfortunately, that is not much. You can see how much I've actually killed, and I've only gotten four. All right, I'm going to keep doing this, and all right, that's <laughs> those guys have a lot of health. Or a, I think they get like a debuff, isn't that? I don't know, maybe not. Over here. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can see it. How many of these do I need? I guess I need 20. That isn't too bad, I guess. I'm thinking about it. All right, let me fly around, and uh, I also need to figure out where the heck I'm going to put my altar, because it's kind of 
We're a bit in the way now with a tier four is a bit too big for where we have a place. Um, also, I'm kind of thinking maybe we should Oh, hello. That is a lot of stuff. Yeah, see, this is why I came here, because there's a lot of mobs that spawn. Uh, I do need to craft up a bunch of slates as well. All right, let me do that, and uh, we'll be back. Okay, we are back. I got 24 weak blood shards, because there is actually a recipe to duplicate them, and it uh, requires four somewhere there it is so yeah demonic slate which we get and a tier 4 altar and you can double them so i just did that so i got the four so we can start doubling them okay there is the five large blood blood stone there we go also we have a bunch of abyssal knights now oh if that's still going Oh, it's off. So I will. I don't know which. Which is better. You can get the Abyssal Knight from either of these. So. Probably this recipe, actually. Now that I'm looking at it. We'll get the dreaded chunks. We get the dread meum ingots. And then we can smelt this for the ingots as well. I don't know. I'm not going to really worry about it. So, I have gone ahead and moved our thing. You can see I moved it over here. Now, this is a tier 6 altar. So, you can see this is as big as it's going to get. Um, I'm just going to have it set in the ground, and we will just have the runes underneath the floor. As opposed to having it up, I just didn't feel like doing that. So this one wasn't too bad because it needs 20, 28 runes, which isn't too bad. It does require a heck of a lot of dark steel, but overall not too difficult if you're just doing the basic blank runes, which I will upgrade them. I may... I may start upgrading them to the next capacity rune. Now that we can get the tier 4, as opposed to the regular one that we get with the tier 3, the, which is the 2000 LP per rune. This does 10% per room, but you only switch when you have over 15-ish. So, yeah. All right, so that is that, and now we need the this, the Master Blood Orb, which is the large bloodstone tile, which we have, and we need 60,000. All right, we didn't, it hasn't formed. Let me figure out why it didn't form. I thought it was the bricks we needed. Maybe it was not the... I thought there were bloodstone bricks you had to do. Maybe I was wrong. I mean, those definitely look like bricks, don't they? <laughs> oh! I screwed this up. Whoops. And I supposed to be down one. This is the one issue with filling it down into the ground. It's supposed to be down there. There. Right. I think we're good. Tier four. There we go. Tier four. We got 46. I will fill this up completely. And we should hopefully have enough to... Yeah, that's not... It doesn't fill up super fast, so we should be good. 
Okay, so there we go. We got a tier four altar. So we'll get the master blood orb. Question is, where do we kind of go from here? Do we start farming up life essence with mobs? The that um hurry up. Need the there it goes. That was a bit close. Um we start farming up with a mob farm with the ritual the will uh what is that the ritual of something i don't know we'll have to figure out what we want to do there but there we go there is the next the next thing all right so i am going to fill our thing and kind of look where we want to go from here there is more Reagents. Stuff like this. Um, we'll have to... I need to also get the altar set up to uh, get AE over here as well. I haven't... I didn't move that at all. I just broke it down. So we will have to do that. Also, if I'm going to go with self-sacrifice... I'll move this incense altar. If not, I'm not going to worry about that in the meantime. Anyway, that's going to be for today. So thanks for watching, and have a good one.